Have you ever seen the movie uh, The Proposal with uh, Sandra Bullock? There's a scene where she walks right past the receptionist. <laughs> like, I mean, she didn't look at her. She didn't stop. She didn't blink, cough, swallow, nothing. She just walked right past her. And um, that's exactly what I do to the people that, uh, you know, go out of their way to stalk and harass and taunt and provoke me. Yeah, these people try me every now and again, make a nasty comment. Yeah, they'll give me nasty stares and look me up and down and... I'll just walk right past them. And then you have those folks that speak to you. That they're fake and phony. And, and uh, if you don't speak to them, they'll tell other people, see, look, look, she, she a mean person. Look, she got an attitude. Look, look. And this is why that will always backfire. First of all, we are adults. We grown. We are not in the sandbox in kindergarten. This is not high school. This is not. You're not my. You you ain't my mama. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. So <laughs> when I walk right past you, I can do what I want to do. That's it, and that's all. But see, this is why it backfires because sometimes people are so desperate and obsessed with you. They they've convinced themselves that they have some sort of right. An authority to get your attention they have some sort of their the, these people have convinced themselves that if they've gossiped about you enough if they've you know told enough people that they don't like you if they've rallied enough people up against you that um uh th- that you you you're you're evil you're a bad person and that's not that's not reality that's not how this works If somebody does not want to speak to you, if somebody does not want to befriend you, if somebody does not want you in their personal space, they have, they absolutely have the right to ignore you. And that's where people become distorted and tormented because they've worked themselves up into believing that if I speak to you, you're obligated to speak to me in return. And if you ignore me, you're an evil person. These people have literally convinced themselves this. And that's not reality. It does not work that way. If somebody doesn't want to speak to you, they don't have to. If somebody doesn't want you in their personal space, you're not. You Leave them alone <laughs> is what I'm saying. Again, we're adults. We're grown people. What made you think that you have the right to to force yourself to to insert yourself into into someone's life if this person is ignoring you leave them alone what what part is what part of this is weird what part of this is strange i don't get it i i seriously do not get it i don't understand i'm not speaking to you i don't fuck with you and i don't pretend like i do so leave me alone